Hello everyone, my name is Julia and this is the Blow Up Couch Show where I take this here couch and drag around people's homes and ask them questions. Today we're interviewing a beautiful, talented angel named Liv who is a producer here in Los Angeles, California. So let's get ready to become famous today. We are not in your house. We're not in my house. We're just in a house um, that we had to borrow. Just want to be fully transparent because I know people um, have problems with the media lying to them. So there will be no there will be no lies here. I will share with everyone that I met Liv because she was my boss and. <laughs> So weird to say that because I was just like friends. So yeah. Like, well, also I was like after like the end of the day I was like this is my friend. Yeah. Like, right. I don't know if she knows yet, but this is my friend. <laughs> Tell us how you got into production and how you ended up in Los Angeles. Yeah. Um. I'm from Australia. I had no plans of being in the film industry. Like being in Australia, being in the film industry is like an absolute pipe dream. Everyone's just like, if you want to work in the industry, that's stupid. Go get a real job. I was actually studying aviation management to be like flight, flight control. What? And college is so random. <laughs> yeah. And then I met Josh, my husband, who works in the industry. Met him, fell in love, decided to move out here and was like, oh, the film industry is actually like a thing that you can do. Mm -hmm. um, and having like been really interested in filmmaking when I was a child, I was like, I'm going to do this. How did you work up the nerve to like come all the way here? Um, I think it was really easy because I was 19 and I was just like a crazy person. <laughs> like to make that kind of decision when in my like mid 20s, I would probably would have been too nervous. What was your first big job or what got you sort of you're like, yes, this is what I'm going to be doing? Uh, the first movie I worked on was Kevin Smith's movie Yoga Hosers. And that was the one where I was an office PA on it. After the first day, I just came home and I was like, this is everything. This is so great. I have to do this. Yeah. I don't know why I thought you were going to be like, after the first day I came home and I just cried. No, I didn't. And I was like, I'm clearly projecting. You act, you like make YouTube videos, you produce, yeah. you write. How do you balance everything? I find balance in the year. You don't find like the work-life balance. You've got to find it in the long term, not in the short term. I try and liken it to any other industry and the only one that comes close is kind of construction. Like if you are a person building a house, like you're building a house and then the house is done and then you take some time off and then you build the next house. It's kind of like that. What was your interest in acting and how did you get started with that? But that happened funnily enough on another Kevin Smith movie called Holidays, which I was um, production supervising in the summer of 2015. And we were supposed to sh start shooting in two days and we didn't have one of our like lead actresses. Like it's a movie about three women that are in their early 20s. And we had two of the three actors cast and we were like, literally shooting in two days. Kevin's like, well, why don't you do it? And I was like, I've never acted before in my life. I have no idea. Like, that's crazy. Why would you say that? And then I was like, well, fuck, maybe I should. Maybe I should. Yeah. And then two days later, I'm like in his movie, having never acted before, like seriously freaking out. And um, it worked out really well. And he was like, he was like, you're really good at this, you should go pursue it. That is so cool though. Yeah, it's so crazy. That's like the Hollywood dream. <laughs> know, where, like, I'm always really sort of like loud in grocery stores because I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like maybe I'll get discovered. Are you ready for our first game? Yes, I love game. Love game. Yay! Since you work in production and you yep. deal with a lot of personalities yes. and a lot of weird little problems, yes. I am going to give you a hat that has a list of problems in it. Ooh, I it's love the hat. Indiana Dad. Fuck yeah. I'm going to wear this hat like a choo-choo train. I have a bunch of celebrity names on these cards. Oops, don't want to show. Oh, I will put them on my hat. Okay. You will read me the problem. Okay. I will act out the problem and you will solve the problem. Okay, great. To my satisfaction. First celebrity. Okay. Auteur director. Wes Anderson. Who knows what kind of day Wes will be having. Probably not a good one. I stubbed my toe on the prop cow. Oh, on the prop cow. Like, there's a cow that's a prop? Mm -hmm. I'm an important man, and I stubbed my toe on the cow that I think you left in the middle of my hallway. 
live for medic, go to channel 2 please. <laughs> Are you getting me a medic? Yeah, the medic come take with you. And if you're really pissed off about it, then I would just call your agent and be like, hey, you need to get your client together. That yeah. makes me Wes Anderson famous director very pleased. <laughs> and my toe is wrapped in gauze and I'm very interested about this prop cow like yeah because to be a prop the cow, the cow needs to be used I'm going what back, is the cow back into character this movie is about <laughs> uh, five little boys that hop on this cow uh, to time travel but it's a it's a fake cow it's a, it's a, it's a it's plastic a cow at a local dairy queen problem solved and, and the <laughs> funny thing is if the cow um, had wheels then it would be a vehicle and then it would be in transfer <gasps> Well now, I'm back. I'm Wes Anderson. <laughs> I'm gonna give the cow wheels. Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. Ooh, well, we all know he's difficult. Sure. Toast isn't crisp enough. My toast is not crisp enough. And I chewed it, and it was just a slimy bush pile. Liv. Okay, well, we can get you something else from catering. Catering can make pretty much anything you would like. If you're feeling ill, we have a medic. I wanted toast. We could make you some more toast. I want the toast to be like that. I want to knock on it. <laughs> Catering, can you make some really burnt toast, please? Okay, good. That's what I like to hear. Problem solved. <laughs> Simon and Garfunkel. Her Both of them. Both of them. Uh, guess what? We're back together. I'm Simon. And I'm Garfunkel! Hello darkness, my old friend. Yeah, that's our song! I can't find the pet hedgehog. Hedgy what's? Ah! Where's my pet? Hedgy! I know. It's it. Oh, it sounds cute. Yeah. What would we do? Yeah. Um, we would ask the uh, PAs uh, who's got eyes on Hedgy's hedgehog. <laughs> Over walkie. See him has eyes on the hedgehog. And then someone hopefully does. Yeah. Okay. Problem solved! Yeah. Problem solved. Yay! Yay! You did a great job. Oh, great. I love your calm demeanor in <laughs> times of extreme distress. Now we're gonna do a little quiz about walkie-talkie lingo. So, as some of you may know, or as some of you may not know, um, on film sets, mm -hmm. Everyone's communicating on walkie talkies. And thank God for that. So we've actually brought some very high end walkies for is. us to um, communicate with. Here's this. Oh, for great. You. And I love this brand. For me. So we can all learn about, you know, some set lingo. Yeah. So what is 10 4 when you're like, 10 4? 10 4 is not a thing. <laughs> okay, so 10 1 is going to the bathroom. Okay. To pee. What? Ten two is going to the bathroom to take a dump. <laughs> so nobody says ten two. Yeah, who's gonna ever. be confident enough? Well, to sometimes it's like, oh, that person. Uh, it's like live for Julia, and someone's like, Julia went ten one, and then I'd be like, well, it sounds like maybe she went ten two. <laughs> but you're like, I'm doing, I'm doing a big ten two. I'm yeah, pee. actually, yeah. If you like, no shame there. If you want to be the person that's like, I'm going ten two, everyone's gonna be like, coffee. Copy. What? What's that? Copy. Uh, it's just. Uh, it's what you say to like know that you've acknowledged that. So quite often, like the first CD will say something over walking and like, just like a general thing, like, mm -hmm. hey, can everyone keep an eye out for Julia? She's being a pain in the butt. Yeah. Uh, and then like the PAs would walk you back, copy that, copy you. Gotcha. So what about pace? Pace. Yeah, you're like on. <laughs> I've never heard of pace. And then I'd be like, I. I did a great job today. Paced. And then everyone would be like, got it. We heard I've you never heard of that in my life. <laughs> what um, set did you pick that up on? Um, the set of life. <laughs> what about what's your 20? What's your 20 is where are you? Okay. Yeah. So maybe what's your 30? Is no. that a thing? What about mm -hmm. that could be like, how emotionally where are you? Oh my god, that would be so great. Wouldn't that be nice? Yes. We need to check in emotionally. What's yeah. your 30? Better than answer. Yeah, like feeling anxious, but I'm hanging in there. The walkie game. Ma. Ma. Can I keep this? The couch show with Liv has come to an end. Thank you so much for being here today. Hi it has been so fun for me. I feel like we learned so much. Yeah. We had some good laughs. It was fun. It was a good time. Bye. Bye. Bye.